Okay, I decided I wouldn't leave you hanging. I told you I crop mine. You should crop yours as well. And there's a gotcha here with the crop tool. They has got me several times because I'm used to Photoshop. Okay, if I want to crop this, I went through a bunch of gyrations when I did this the first time trying to get around it, but here's the issue. When you click on the crop tool, that's the crop tool right there, I'm just going to click. I'm used to seeing the crop there, but I don't see anything. I just have these crosshairs. So we can know what's going on here. We have current layer, trim, selection, all layers. This is really cool. I can see benefits of this beyond the confusion. So if I click on all layers, what the heck is going on? I'm going to click command minus. There's something else in these other layers that is this size. Well, this isn't like a transform. We're not um, modifying the size of anything other than the canvas. So we can pull this in one by one and get this how we want it. Now, ordinarily, I would spend more time, you know, uh, but for right now, that's what I want. And I want to delete crop pixels. I just want this. And remember, we're changing this file irrevocably once we save it. But I gave you the link. You can always download another one, or better yet, you have already downloaded the zip file. You can open that zip file to make another copy. So this, if I hit return, is, is it not returned? You have to click. Oh, it just takes a while. It was thinking. So there we go. That's the crop. And now, if I, well, and then we'd go through the enhancement and all that. And I want you guys to enhance these. And I don't think this is cropped really well. This could be cropped better. But for right now, remember, you're going to put this on the internet. And some of you aren't doing this. You have to change the size to fit what we're working on. Click JPEG. And don't just click those download buttons up here. Because look at the file. 3700 by 2855. Well, I'm going to highlight the height and change it. This lock is on. See, this lock is dark. I'm going to change it to 1500. And then hit tab. See what happens to that upper number. And yeah, now we've got a file that's the right size for where we're working. And we can go ahead and click save. And there's our downloaded file that we can upload to the internet. And I'm going to use this as the featured image. But between now and putting it up, I may play around with this a little more. What time is it? Ah, I got to get ready for school. Okay. Well, then maybe it won't be enhanced. But you should always enhance your images to make them look better. Right? Yeah. Have some fun with this and experiment, learn how to use this because we've got, you know, another four weeks of school to play around in Photopea. So you might as well start exercising your creative muscles.